another session of uh, video tutorial so in this tutorial session I'll discuss about Oracle SQL performance tuning okay so uh, in this video tutorial I'll discuss about Oracle SQL performance tuning so what are the topic I'll discuss I'll just uh, uh, make it here uh, one by one uh, first one point is uh, what is SQL performance tuning next one uh, what are the purposes of SQL performance tuning number three what are some important steps to follow uh, for SQL performance tuning okay N next number four is uh, monitoring important views uh, to get pa information about execution that is exec SQL execution and number uh, last is uh, five is final uh, some tips okay so I'll discuss uh, completely one by one uh, in this uh, tutorial session okay so uh, before that I just wanted to inform about myself uh, a little bit of introduction about myself who are watching this uh, session or say this video session new uh, for them uh, I am just introducing myself uh, I am Robin and I have total of 17 plus of year, uh, 17 plus years of experiences working with uh, various Oracle technologies like Oracle SQL Oracle PLSQL programming Oracle database architecture and design Oracle database uh, database administration uh, Oracle forms and reports development Oracle performance tuning and also Unix uh, cell programming and scripting okay and uh, currently I am a senior uh, Oracle consultant as well as technical and corporate trainer and interviewer so I uh, provide training during last 10 years I am providing training on various uh, SQL uh, modules uh, or S various SQL uh, technologies as I already said and also Unix technologies okay and I am a uh, uh, trainer of uh, various MNCs uh, for various uh, for employees for their employees um, uh, when employees joined in yes, uh, MNC companies uh, they required some training so I provide this training and also I provide training the experienced empo employees also in various MNCs uh, when uh, they require to learn SQL uh, Oracle technologies and Unix technologies and they may, may be shifted to from another project to the Oracle partner project uh, Oracle uh, which are pr pr running on Oracle platform so they, they need some trainings okay so I provide the trainings for experienced people as well and uh, uh, I am a interviewer also and I am I have been taking interviews for various MNCs for recruiting their people okay so this is about the short introduction about me and uh, let's start uh, today's session uh, about uh, SQL performance tuning okay so this is the complete discussion about SQL tuning and this is the uh, Oracle performance uh, tuning okay so first one is uh, first one topic is uh, f our first question was uh, what is SQL performance tuning so SQL performance tuning or SQL tuning is the process of writing efficient SQL queries to enhance faster program execution to perform desired action upon user requests okay so SQL tuning is I repeat SQL tuning is the process of writing efficient SQL queries to enhance faster program execution to perform desired action upon user requests so uh, whenever we write execute uh, we write a SQL query we execute SQL query we actually request uh, some uh, uh, result request for some result from the Oracle database right so SQL tuning uh, um, uh, is a process of uh, uh, writing the efficient SQL uh, so we can uh, so that we can write the uh, efficient SQL uh, that can be execute faster okay and uh, that can make our program execution faster okay and uh, uh, we uh, get the desired output uh, uh, as quick as, as possible right so this is the SQL tuning okay next next uh, was uh, number two uh, that is uh, what are the purpose of SQL performance tuning 
so uh, the most uh, important two purposes i have given here and first one is it reduces the amount of execution time upon user requests so sql performance tuning reduce the amount of execution time definitely whenever we write the efficient sql it will uh, execute uh, fast and it will uh, generate the output uh, we can get the desired, desired result fast okay so uh, upon our user uh, request or user request the execution will be very much faster so it reduces the amount of execution time number one number two is it reduces the number of resources used to process the query so whenever a sql process a sql process it actually use various uh, resources right uh, like cpu use uh, cpu usage io usage and memory usage okay this are the uh, uh, three uh, important of them so it uh, whenever we write the efficient sql it reduces the number of resources also uh, so that it can be uh, used me uh, it can be uh, um, uh, used uh, uh, very less okay so it can uh, uh, be minimized to use these resources okay so next one is what are the some Im uh, important steps to follow uh, for sql performance tuning okay so there are many steps actually uh, to uh, mm, uh, for we can uh, make or we can follow or we can analyze uh, for sql performance tuning so i have discussed here few of them important few of them number one is definite uh, identify high impact or uh, which SQL will uh, which uh, uh, are high low uh, which are high uh, loaded uh, SQL queries and uh, by generating the execution plan okay so we have to identify the high impact or which will take uh, much time to load uh, uh, those SQL queries by generating the execution plan so i already upload one video uh, for execution plan you uh, just refer uh, you just uh, watch that uh, execution plan video i have uh, explained uh, in detail what is the execution plan how we can generate sql execution plan and how we can read it and how we can monitor and uh, we can uh, uh, tune the execution plan okay so uh, this uh, is number one and number two is uh, avoid or eliminate large scans so la scan means uh, oracle for whenever we execute a sql query oracle basically scans the particular tables which are uh, referred to in the uh, referred to in the uh, sql query so we have to avoid or eliminate large scans if uh, if oracle uh, engine scans uh, each and every rows of a table it will uh, definitely take a larger time so we should always avoid large uh, scans okay so number three is use index when it is exactly needed so um, you have to use we have to use uh, index uh, index is uh, a technique uh, by which we can uh, retrieve uh, data from table faster but uh, it is not always uh, true that uh, if we if you if we use index uh, the data retrieval will be faster okay so we have to use index when it is exactly needed okay number four is uh, keep uh, statistics up to date uh, so i have already uploaded one video for gathering statistics uh, table statistics uh, just to watch it completely uh, i have described each uh, in detail uh, what are the table statistics how we can get the table statistics and what uh, by st statistics how uh, improve the performance okay just to watch that video also so we have to keep uh, up statistics up to date uh, for uh, efficient uh, for get the result by sql query faster uh, or tuning sql and number five is important uh, point is avoid using star in select clause okay so uh, it is a general habit to use a star uh, after select uh, select star from uh, table name but uh, just uh, use the uh, column name after select uh, what 
columns are uh, exactly needed for your uh, program okay or you uh, refer in your program okay just uh, use the field name uh, select field name one field or two field three like this uh, from table name okay so it will definitely uh, uh, execute area SQL faster okay uh, number six is most important uh, maybe uh, one of the important point that is uh, use hints to modify execution plan okay so we can use hints uh, to alter or modify execution plan uh, to choose uh, optimizer to the best execution plan or we can alter execution plan um, uh, of a SQL query uh, by using hints okay so these are some important steps to follow for SQL performance tuning and next is uh, monitoring impo uh, important uh, views to get imp information about execution okay so uh, how we can monitor uh, the execution of a SQL after executing the SQL okay so after executing the SQL query we can monitor its performance or uh, whatever the history of uh, execution history we can uh, just uh, uh, monitor by it by um, looking into uh, these data dictionary views there are five data dictionary views uh, number one is v dollar active underscore session underscore history uh, number two is v dollar session number three is v dollar session underscore long ops uh, that means uh, long operations and number four is v dollar sql and number five is v dollar sql underscore plan so we can monitor these views uh, what are the data uh, are there uh, regarding the particular S A sql uh, execution of sql and we can uh, find its history about the execution okay and we can uh, take steps uh, uh, on the basis of that okay so next is so there are some automated SQL tuning tools we can use these tools uh, to tune our SQL queries uh, number one is uh, automatic uh, database diagnostic monitor that is ADDM number two is SQL tuning advisor number three is uh, SQL uh, access advisor number four is SQL plan management number five is uh, SQL performance analyzer so these are some automated tools uh, so we can use these tools uh, to analyze our SQL queries uh, for better performance so we have we can gather the we can gather the information after executing a SQL query what are the um, uh, statistics uh, after executing a SQL query we can look into it okay so these are some automated SQL tuning tools next so final tips I want to give some uh, final tips here uh, SQL performance tuning or SQL query tuning is an ongoing process and there is always room for improvements uh, to meet the specific measurable and achievable goals so there are many uh, things depends on SQL tuning so uh, how fast is uh, how fast uh, your uh, our X sql will be getting executed the, it depends on many factors so there are all there is all always uh, the room of imp improvements uh, to meet the specific measurable and achievable goals okay so uh, next is it's important to separate high impact sql statements uh, those are executed frequently which are executed frequently and which are high impact sql we can just separate those uh, and uh, require the most uh, and which uh, require the most database and IO activity uh, so uh, targeting them and uh, will optimize the amount of work put in reality to performance uh, improvements okay so we have to say segregate or we have to separate the high impact SQL which basically uh, frequently executed and which require most database and IO uh, activity so we have to target them and uh, we have to put them uh, put uh, um, our effort or put our uh, um, analyzing uh, effort uh, on them uh, we have to look after the we have to look on the history of them how they have executed and what uh, steps we can follow for them okay and uh, this uh, for this performance improvement okay so that's all uh, for this session and thank you for watching this session and video session and uh, i think uh, this session was informative for you and i think this session was useful for your learning uh, 
uh, if this session was useful for your learning just give a comment uh, over this tutorial uh, and uh, just uh, give a like uh, this tutorial and if this video have added some value to your learning just uh, give a like and comment below if have you, you have any doubt uh, and uh, just comment below your comment is valuable and thank you very much for watching this video and just uh, share uh, this video with your friends colleagues and who you know uh, share this video or link uh, video link or channel link to your friends colleagues and uh, to whom you know so that they can also learn from my uh, videos and uh, make their skills in oracle and sql oracle and uh, unix also so uh, that's all and uh, if you want to join my uh, online interactive training sessions i provide training uh, um, uh, sessions uh, online uh, on various uh, oracle technologies like oracle complete sql sql uh, that is structured query language oracle uh, pl sql programming oracle uh, database architecture and database design oracle database administration oracle performance tuning oracle uh, forms and reports development mm -hmm. and also unix cell programming and cell scripting okay so if you want to join my online training sessions uh, just um, uh, connect me with uh, my uh, with my number or email me uh, as provided uh, in the description section of the video uh, th uh, my contact is given in the description section of the video just uh, you can uh, just uh, message me or email me uh, if you want to join any of the oracle uh, modules or oracle uh, trainings or uh, unix training okay and uh, after a short process you can just uh, uh, join immediately my online training sessions and this is live trainings this will be live training sessions and uh, you can just uh, question on the session and uh, i'll be uh, you can get the reply as soon as possible okay and uh, at the on the same session okay and that's all for this tutorial session and thank you very much for watching this video and bye